I think we ought to fly to Africa to stop Dirk Dinkum from capturing a Manzian white lion and selling it to Spencer Spendington. The next time I fly anywhere, I'm going by bus. Ah! Armstrong thinks there's a town 10 or 12 miles from here. We're going to leave you guys to guard the plane. Maybe we can sleep in this cave. <laughs> Buddy, we're lost in the savannah. We're miles from civilization, miles from human life, miles from a place to get a decent burrito. Which reminds me, I haven't eaten for six hours. This is the longest I've gone without food since John tried to barbecue spaghetti. <laughs> What's that music? Huh? Hey, cousin, who do you be? I be Garfield and he be Odie. Welcome, weary travelers. I'm Bunky, and he's Funky. And I'm Funky, and he's Bunky. And he's Plunky, on account of he plays the accordion. Ukulele. Like I said, the ukulele. And together, we're the Baboon Brothers. Huh? Welcome, dog and cat. He's our welcome mat. We'll have a lovely chat here in our habitat. To me. Sorry about the heat, so sit and rest your feet. Have something good to eat. We spend our afternoon watching the best cartoons, eating organic fruit, hard, hard work for three baboons. Life in the jungle is nice, and to be somewhat precise, you just found paradise. Here, here, here with, with us, us and the trees. trees, anything that you please, everywhere, greenery, picturesque scenery, everyone comprehends. That will all be, that will all be. is the largest planet in the Earth's solar system. Nice to meet you, Garfield. <clears throat> we don't get a lot of mice around here. I'm a cat. Like I said, cat. A cat's ear has a total of 32 muscles. You and your friend look kind of hungry. You're one smart baboon. We can let you share in our evening feast. We <laughs> always have our favorite traditional local recipe. <sighs> I'm famished. Uh, but what is it? I know not what you call it where you come from, but here, the name we have for it is lasagna. <laughs> is this a kind of food you could eat? Oh, I suppose I could give it a try. Hey. <laughs> Spend the night at the hotel here, then go out first thing in the morning. Oh, I'm worried about Garfield and Odie, and about stopping Dirk Dinkum. Oh, I'm not worried about stopping Dinkum. Not with you around, John. Huh? Ahem. Hello, hello. What were you saying about Garfield and Odie? Well, we're worried about them. It's hard for me to imagine Garfield out in the forest, eating berries and plants. He must be so miserable. Lights out in the wild, the place for you and me. Running merrily, that's the way life should be. Lights out in the wild, go out and climb a tree. Forget all misery. We should never have left them with the plane. They must be so hungry. Some people surround themselves with walls that limit what they see. <laughs> They're probably cold and scared and bored and lonely. Life out in the wild, it's a total symphony. Filled with harmony, that's the way life should be. Life out in the wild, just hear the melody. When you're living free, that's the way life should be. Well, there's nothing we can do for them tonight. I suppose you're right. Come on, I'll walk you to your room. Poor Garfield. 
Poor Odie. This map that bloke showed me is worthless. Well, you can't blame that on me, Dink. Sure I can, but I got a lead in the village. There are Manzi and White Lions up at the West Portal. Oh, I'm telling you, my uncle knows where Oh, shut up about been. your uncle. We're going to the West Portal where I'm going to bag me a Manzi and White Lion. Great. Hey, how much is that Findington guy going to pay us? He's going to pay me so much I can buy the house next door to his. I'm going to take a nap. Wake me when we reach the West Portal. Oh, that was a great breakfast, guys. Oh, and a wonderful sleep. I am glad you like our native breakfast foods. We call that pancakes with sausage. Ooh, I'll have to remember that name. There are 31,557,600 seconds in a year. <laughs> yeah. Now, you wanted to know about the Manzian white chipmunks. Lions. Like I said, lions. They're supposed to be these super rare animals, and they're supposed to be incredibly beautiful. Well, I think they are magnificent, but you can see for yourself. There is one up there. Huh? That is Queen Tanya, the Manzian white lion. Cody wants to know why she seems so sad. She is sad because she lost her mate. King Royale, they called him. It happened three months ago. Two months ago. Like I said, two months ago. King Royale, he was a fine figure of a lion. Regal, majestic. When he roared, every animal for kilometers around snapped to attention. And he and Queen Tanya were a fine couple. And then one day, his hunting party came into the area. We knew what they wanted. What they all want. What he wants to know, isn't hunting illegal? Sure it is. By international treaty. I looked it up on the net, see? Illegal to hunt or capture the Manzian white lion. So we did our best to distract them. Not work. When he spotted them, his first instinct was to stand his ground and fight. But then, well, Funky has a theory. <clears throat> the theory is that he wanted to lure the hunters away from Tanya. Oh, by the way, an adult male lion can run at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. <laughs> and it still wasn't fast enough. <gasps> that was the last we saw of him. <laughs> Was he, you know? We don't know. We think we know. And we think the worst. But Tanya is sure he's alive. Every morning she goes up there and waits. Just waits for him to come back to her and the children. <laughs> huh? Huh? Children? Just after King Royal went away, she had triplets. <laughs> twins! Like I said, twins! <laughs> The boy is named Prince, and the girl is named Princess. Want to meet them? Queen Tanya does not talk much. Matter of fact, she has not said a word since King Royal went away. But we'll introduce you to the twins. <laughs> Come on! No sign of them in the play. And no sign of them anywhere around. Hmm. Which direction would Garfield have started walking in? Which direction is the nearest pizzeria? See, I told you I saw them ahead on the road. Doesn't matter. 
While they're doing what we're doing, I'll be back and be one very expensive lion. Come on. We'd better head for the West Portal. We have to reach those lions before Dinkum does. You're right. Let's just look around a little more for Garfield and Odie. Fine. John is amazing. So smart and so adorable. You're talking about my John? Of course. Uh-huh. I don't think she really understands that he's my John. I'm making real good progress, sir. Dinkum, we should go and... Shut up! I'm talking to the bloke who's going to make me very wealthy. Pardon me, Mr. Spennington. Yeah, I was just saying, if there's any way you could get the Manzian White Lion back here by tomorrow night, I'm having a party. Yeah, I'd like to show it off for some of my wealthier friends, the ones who own their own islands. I'll do my best, sir. Dinkum, we really need to pick up the bank. Will you shut up? Will you just, just say? Nice to talk to you too, sir. What is so all fired important that you have to interrupt me talking to a man who's going to give me millions of dollars? I realize this is a quicksand area. Quicksand? Quicksand isn't dangerous. <clears throat> Nobody in the world is stupid enough to sink into quick. Oh, Buckley! You idiot! You moron! I'm telling you, Dirk, it will be so much easier if we call my uncle. Again with the uncle! Buckley, I've had it with you. You're fired! You'll be sorry, Dinkum. You'll be so sorry. I'll call my uncle, and you'll be sorry you treated me the way you did. Better start walking. You got a long way home. Max, it's Dinkum. You're still based in Manzia City. Sure, what's up? Great. You still got that helicopter? The one with the trapping attachments? Got it right here, ready to go. Perfect. I need you to pick me up and head for the West Portal. I'm through kidding around. We're gonna bag me a very valuable beast.